Hey there, folks, and welcome back to the I Am CDB Project. Of course, I'm your host, CDB. You are not, and today we're going to do a shaving video with this one, I believe, is Spike uh, Shaving Stick. And by the way, it's just in a, a container that you can get from West Coast Shaving. It's like $1.50, $2, or something along those lines that you can put your shaving stick in it to protect it a little, and it works quite well. The razor is going to be the Razor Rock uh, SLOC that you see here with the uh, Astra SP blade riding in there. Brush is Razor Rock Big Bruce, which is a excellent brush. And if you've never seen me use a shaving stick before, we will demonstrate how. I don't know why I'm wetting my head because I'm not starting with my head. We'll make the video today for the face. I don't think I'll make a head shaving video next week. But anyway, um, just slap some water on the face. Make sure you have some moisture. And you can even dip the shave stick a little, the very tip, into uh, the water if you want to and you just want to rub it along your face against the grain back and forth and so on just get get a good amount of uh, soap worked in there this is a little different process from your typical shave soap where you just simply you know lather the brush and apply it to your face on this on with shave sticks you generally I mean you could do it any way you want but generally speaking you um, Apply it directly to the face and then lather it. So we'll see how that goes. I like the smell of uh, Spike, by the way. It's an interesting scent from my point of view. And let's wet our big bruise here. Let's make sure we get a little bit of water in there. And then we'll just start working it in. Building a lather off of the uh, soap that transfers to your face from the shave stick. And generally speaking, most times, if you've uh, applied enough soap to your face you'll have enough by the time you end up building this lather to go for your three passes and if not it's no big deal just reapply your shave stick so it's not a difficult thing by any stretch of the imagination as you can see here we're getting some lather belt fairly easy i'm dipping my brush a little bit into the water just to get a little more water to the mix and as you can see no problem as far as uh, building lather goes whatsoever. Let's cut that back a little bit there. I don't need to shave all the way down to the top of my ch chest. Not doing a very good job cutting that down today. I hope everybody's having a good day so far. It's early uh, Saturday morning. Today I'm gonna every other weekend I've been making a trip back to my original hometown. I always consider my hometown where I'm at. I know that's kind of, some people don't consider it, but I consider the town where I'm born, where I was born, but I consider my hometown is wherever my home is. That's just the way I do it. But anyway, going back to, you know, where my folks live and the girlfriend's folks and visit today. We try to do that every other weekend now, which is nice. And I hope if you have plans, they work out nicely for you as well. Let's wet this bad boy a little bit. This is a razor that I really enjoy using. It's not expensive, but it does a great job. And as I've mentioned, every time I use it, it is reminiscent, not an exact copy, but reminiscent of the, uh, the uh, PAA double open comb. This one is SLOC, which is I think self lubricating open comb it's called. A little more efficient than that razor and certainly I prefer the handle uh, which is this one here and it's a it's a nice razor and the buddy of mine the inspector for a color tells me the I think he calls it yaki offering I think it's a Chinese offering that is similar to this is uh, pretty doggone good too so you can check those out if you wish if you're budget-minded and wanted to try one of these uh, you know double open comb razors without spending you know the top price in the market uh, not that there's anything wrong with spending that if you have it but if you just want to sort of dip your feet in you can try one of these and this one actually i kept because i like using it so much so the uh 
Phoenix double open comb I did not keep because it was a little too mild and I didn't like the, it had a really short handle which I did not like at all. And it was a little mild, but this one, uh, I would call it overall mild, but it's more towards the medium end of mild rather than, uh, you know, that the super mild side of mild. And so that was a really nice uh, first pass there. Let's just apply a little more water here. And we will lather up again and see if we've got ample lather in this brush. And I believe we will. But if not, remember you can always go back to the, uh, you can always go back to the soap if you need to. You could, if you wanted to, you could screw that out further and just pick up a little more soap off the shave stick if you wanted to, but totally up to it. Really, when it comes down to it, you could do it any doggone thing you please. Uh, as long as it meets your needs. Concern yourself far less with what those of us who get on here and babble on video tell you how to do things. I mean, we're trying to give you tips that certainly work well for us, but when it comes down to it, ultimately, um, you should do whatever works best for you, even if it's 100% um, contrary to what we say. Because like I mentioned uh, the week before last or last week, the only thing I'm an expert in, shaving my own face. When it comes to shaving yours, what I'm telling you may or may not hold true. And my recommendation is to do what works best for you over the, you know, in recent years, I've seen a lot of insistence that you must listen to certain experts or YouTubers or uh, and, and certainly there's a, a lot of value in doing that. But ultimately, find your own way. I mean, listen to what they say about products and, you know, their opinion on things. Take it into consideration. Uh, get a lot of different opinions, not just mine, not just, you know, Mantix or Geo Fat Boy or, you know, uh, Ruds or, you know, I could name a, a ton of different uh, wet shavers. But uh, definitely watch that stuff and enjoy it and get thoughts on products and ideas. But then uh, sort of make your own decision. And above all, I uh, implore you, um, you know, try different things um, for a time. And then just sort of figure out what works best for you and sort of settle in there. It took me a number of years before I finally really began to settle in on more value stuff. Cause I realized for me, spending more money really didn't do much. Uh, really, if, if anything, other than hardware, I think sometimes you can, you can get some value there by spending a little more, but generally on software, I, you know, I don't see any point in doing so whatsoever, but uh, don't lock yourself in to a particular brand that promises you the world in terms of, you know, the best uh, quality, everything, and their prices are higher or what have you. And then you, if you try other things, and if you tried them blind, you'd probably come to the conclusion that there's a ton of other good stuff out there. And any of the uh, mainstream products are quite good. So, you know, give them a shot. And then my recommendation is settle in on a few, you know, a handful, and, and then go from there. But uh, don't be drawn into these, you know, uh, vendor zealotry, whereas you just hate every other brand because this brand doesn't get along with this brand and blah, 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 blah. Uh, on this pass, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you, um, you know, I'll just go ahead and re reply. I don't need to, but you can always just go back and, and reapply a little more soap uh, if you feel like you don't have enough soap. And again, going against the grain, which this way is against the grain on my neck, it pick, tends to pick up a little more soap. And uh, wet your brush, and you'll find that once again, you know, if you find yourself running a little short on lather, just go back, just as you would go back to the puck. I know that's sort of taboo for people, um, sort of, you know, YouTubers and whatnot, but if you have to go back, you have to go back. Again, the goal is to, is to make sure you get a, a really nice, 
comfortable shave, not to, you know, just check off boxes of, of uh, things that you did properly according to YouTubers or bloggers or, you know, whomever. Um, just do do things the way you see fit. And, I, and personally, I, I have always preferred, although there are a lot of great bloggers um, out there, I, I preferred uh, when I started to to learn from uh, Geo Fat Boy and uh, Mantic and, and so forth. And I did read some of the blogs too, but I like to sort of see and be familiar with who's given me the information. That is not always the case, of course. But in terms of this hobby, I just appreciated their approach. And I learned from a lot of other people, quite frankly, as well, like Zach Plavridis of Razor and Brush. He has a ton of knowledge. But again, I had that ability to connect with those people, see who they are, ask them a question, and so forth and so on. Um, some of them, you know, anonymous, anonymous blogs where you don't know who they are, don't know. I just think there's something for me, personally, you know, you don't know what their motivation is sometimes. You can sort of look at people and then sort of just, you know, get a feel for what their motivation is, whether they're in it just for money or whether they, you know, have other, whether they're just flat enjoying it and they get joy out of it. And, and that's, sometimes that's hard to translate in a blog, although it can be done. There are some good ones, don't get me wrong. I'm not suggesting that you don't uh, check out blogs. You certainly should because there are a lot of great ones, but. I always liked watching uh, Geo Fat Boy and Mantic 59, and uh, there are many others, of course, that I am uh, uh, missing. And so they certainly were inspiration for me and taught me a great deal. In fact, the first two products uh, I ever bought were probably because of uh, Geo Fat Boy. I bought Tobbs Sandalwood, was one of the first ones. And I bought uh, an Edward Jaggard, Edward, Edwin Jagger, rather, DE89 uh, razor, because I'd watched his uh, video about, you know, he was showing how beautiful that Edwin Jagger DE89, that chrome, you know, not the lined one, but just the chrome one was. Now, some people say that's slippery. I've never really had a problem with grip on razors personally, but I guess it could be because it's. Just nice shiny chrome, mild razor, but it worked very, very well. And uh, anyway, I like to uh, still enjoy uh, their stuff. And the one thing about those guys and the people who do stuff, whether it be, you know, Mr. Rudd's or you know, all the people who do videos is, you know, if they have a criticism, you can see their face and they're, they're putting their name and you can see them to a criticism as opposed to just anonymous sniping where somebody writes kind of a hit piece. And I just, I never have respected that. That's just my personal opinion. Again, um, I, I was just raised that if you're going to be critical of something, do it as a known individual, do it to their face or at least let them know who you are. You know, yeah, I said it kind of person rather than hiding behind a screen name or something. That's just me. Um, that said, there's a lot of value in some of the anonymous, you know, forms that allow anonymous, anonymous, forget it, that allow people to be anonymous. It's too early for me to, to, to speak, evidently. And some would argue it's, I should never speak <laughs> on video, but again, I'm going to nonetheless, we're years into it now and I'm still going. Granted, I don't do as much as I used to. The All the rads and sads and all those uh, acquisition disorders are long past at this point. And uh, I just sort of enjoy and speak my peace and move on. And my number one goal is for really people not to be led astray uh, or waste a lot of money or get caught up in this zealotry about people they don't like or vendors they don't like. Um, just really use what you like and enjoy and, and try to be a decent person, and decent steward of the community. That is my uh, advice. All right, that was really a nice shave with this spike 
uh, stick, let me rinse. We'll come back and do the bow. Stay tuned. All right, and here we are, back with the magic made by witches, Thayers. And let's slap some of this on real quick. And it feels nice, and I'm gonna shave my head after this, probably not on video today, so I'm not gonna slap it on the dome. Uh, but I do wanna do a quick refresh on what we've used. We use the Razor Rock SLOC, which did a phenomenal job. Really nice value razor in my estimation. The Razor Rock Big Bruce, which is a really nice value brush. We use the Spike, or some people call it Spike, shaving stick, which did a very nice job as well. And uh, later, after we shave our head and shower up, we're gonna use some Razor Rock Son of Zeus, which is an outstanding scent as well. I wanna thank everybody for joining me. Uh, once again, as always, I really do appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB. You are not, God bless.